I thought to myself, what am I going to do in my research? And that is when I began designing my experiment. And I looked up information online and I was able to combine the different protocols to determine the one that would work for me. When I thought about waste in the ocean and being exposed to magnetic fields, I just imagined doing it in a smaller scale. I had to build like seven different models of a magnet before one of them worked. We had to get it all done in one, <laughs> one day. 12 hour period and it was it was a little bit of a rush, but it came out well. Um, I looked briefly at uh, NASA simple designs and those were very complex so I kind of ended up just drawing out my own design. So for instance I was interested in red tide. I can't work with red tide at my house or at school. So I have to find something that's similar to that. So I found freshwater systems and algae in that sense. We went online and uh, we saw a bunch of different trebuchet designs and we didn't really like any of them. So, but we like different characteristics here and there, so we compile them together to make what we call the ultimate trebuchet. We saw certain flaws in each of them, and, and this kind of design here that we uh, made was definitely the one that we thought would have the best effect for the different experiments that we were testing, the fulcrum position and the counterbalance mass. And so I started chiseling these pitting shapes into wooden beams and to try to get a good replica of each pitting shape on bridges. I first suspended the wooden beams from two tables and then hung an empty bucket from the center of it and I poured sand into the bucket until the beam failed and then I took the contents of the bucket and weighed it. So to test this what I would do I would take an ant out of the habitat at random place it at the end of this piece of stock paper in between I would have um, two yardsticks just to keep the ant on the trail the ant would go down to the apple I had on the end it would um, eat at the apple and march back down leaving that pheromone trail Next what I would do is I would take that same stock paper that I had in two fresh pieces, put a new ant from the habitat at the end right here. Hopefully if it's successful the ant would follow that same trail that the other ant traveled on. I took 20 of my friends and asked them to keep sleep diaries and keep track of their sleep for me for 10 days and after that I told them to sleep on a certain regular schedule for 10 more days which they kept diaries. After that I educated them on sleeping and then they kept diaries for 10 more days. And at the end of each 10 days, they took a survey that I compared over sleepiness. For the biological reaction, I just used yeast, that the same type of yeast that you use in bread, and the same type of sugar that you put into your cookies and baking, and just distilled water. And I try to keep it as simple and cheap as possible. So I had to make a lot of split-second decisions about setup, about what was the best thing to do in terms of you know, having a, a clean, well-replicated experiment, but not driving myself crazy doing impossible things. So if I was to do this differently, I'd have th two or three nails in each of the situations instead of just one. And I would measure it differently. Instead of using surface area, I would find the mass of the nail, and then each day find the mass to see how much it's actually been eaten away by the materials in the situation it's in. Another question one likes to ask a student chatting to them about their project, how did you go about designing it? And they said, no problem, it's just natural. I thought of what I wanted to ask nature and it seemed clear I should proceed this way. They invent their own thing. Contrast that again with a typical academic environment. The kid is assigned some homework, First instinct is they got to look in the textbook, find the formula they can plug into. It's not their thing. This is their thing, their project. They devised the whole thing. So it's natural to them to proceed and say, well, I'm going to think my own way. And it comes. It's beautiful to witness.